Welcome to Rust Admin Academy, where I teach you all the tips and tricks of running your own successful Rust server. If this is your first time to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notification bells if you want to get notified for future videos. All right, let's get into this and see what kind of trouble we can get into. Today, we're going to be talking about two admin plugins. And I say admin plugins because they don't benefit your players at all, but they do benefit you as the server owner or the server admin. So the first one that we're going to talk about is no give notices. And the second one we're going to talk about is no green. And I'll explain each one as we go through it. So let's jump into our server so that we can actually see what I'm talking about. So here we are in our server. And if we go to the F1 menu and we start spawning some things in just random, whatever, I don't care. It's just to show you the example. It actually shows in the chat that the server has given these items to these players. And that's sometimes not something that you want your players to be able to see. Although you do want the ability to do that. That is what we call admin abuse. And it is one of the biggest killers of a server's population. If your players see admins abusing their abilities, they're going to leave your server and they're never going to come back. So the quickest and easiest way to prevent people from being able to see that is to install a plugin that makes that invisible. It doesn't prevent you from being able to do it. It just makes it so that it doesn't show up in chat when you're doing it. All right, so here we are at our trustyumod.org website. And we're just going to download this plugin right quick and grab it out of our downloads folder and drop it into our oxide plugins folder. There we go. And we're going to wait for it to generate up there. And there we go. It generated. All right. So let's jump back into gameplay so that we can actually see this functioning. Okay. So here we are back in our game and let's do the same thing. Let's give ourselves a rocket launcher and a pistol and a SIR. So as you can see, I've been given those things, as you see it populating in the right hand corner, uh, but there no longer shows in chat, which is exactly what we're going for. And just a side note here, there are no permissions for this plugin. It just works because only moderators or I should say auth level one, auth level two are able to spawn things in from the F1 console anyway. So it just automatically applies to those two auth levels. No permissions required. So the other plugin that I wanted to show you guys today is called No Green. Okay, so we've previously on this server, we've previously installed a plugin called Better Chat, and I'll post a link in the card above in the top right hand corner, like always. Uh, if you've never seen that video, you can jump over there and see that. But we've installed Better Chat right now. So when I type in chat, it just shows what we want it to show okay so better or better chat is doing the server admin and it's also controlling the color of my name etc etc so just for this example we're actually going to unload better chat so that i can show you what actually happens if you didn't use better chat so in our server we're just going to go oh unload better chat okay so that plugin is unloaded and now we're going to run back to gameplay and we'll see what happens when i type in chat now Okay, so now as you can see, my name is in green, where other players that don't have off level one or off level two would show up as the regular blue that you're used to seeing. So if you're not going to run better chat, but you want to be able to hide as an owner, admin or moderator, I'll show you exactly how to do that. So of course, we head back over to UMod. And we're going to grab a plugin called no green. And of course, like always, I'm going to post a link down below so that you can get to this plugin right quick. So we're going to download that and we're going to grab it out of our downloads folder and we're going to drop it into our plugins folder right here and wait for it to generate up there. And there it is. So now when we go back to gameplay and we type again, now we just look like every other player out there. So yes, I still have off level two. I still have the ability of spawning things in and I just look like every other player as far as the chat goes, which is exactly what you want. One of the things that people won't teach you when they're talking about setting up servers is how to be successful. And this is one of my tips or one of my biggest takeaways of being an owner of a successful server. And when I say successful, I mean populated. If you're going to play in the server, you don't want anybody to know that you're an admin, a moderator, an owner. You don't want players to know any of that. So legit, when they come right out and ask you, 
are you the owner or an admin of this server? You can just say no, because as far as they know, you could just be a regular player. You look like a regular player. Uh, you chat like a regular player. Everything else looks like a regular player. So there's no reason to think otherwise. All right, so I hope those two plugins help you out. Admin abuse is, like I said before, one of the biggest killers of a server. If your players ever see you abusing your privileges or your abilities as an admin or a moderator, they're just gonna say, screw it. They're gonna leave your server and they're never going to come back. So if you have to do this stuff, uh, like spawning things in or, or whatever it is that you feel that you need to do, as long as you can do it without your regular population knowing about it, you're going to be a more successful owner. So if you found this video helpful at all, throw me the thumbs up. You know how much I love it. I say it on every video. I know it's probably starting to get a little repetitive, but you know how much YouTube loves their likes. And if you want to see more content just like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notification bells. Okay, that's it for today. We'll see you guys in the next video.